Hello everyone, we're gonna be playing Slender! Hooray! Now, uh, this game does have a plot, however it doesn't really tell you what that plot is, so I'm going to be discussing it as we play through the game. However, here's a cutscene. Oh, that's us, driving our car. Meanwhile, the midget from Donna, from uh, the fire walk with me is talking to us about how evil love is and how it can screw you over. Doing things for love is stupid. And can get you killed. Which is good advice. I don't think bedeviling is actually a word. But however, we have bigger problems. Because we just saw either uh, the rake or golem. I am unsure as to which. And for some reason, my mouse is inverted. That's silly game. Oh, also there's a bug uh, with this to where uh, the camera doesn't want to stay where you set it to. However, okay, what happened? We were driving our car, came across this roadblock. It turns out we've been sabotaged by beavers. Yes, the beavers are out to get us. However, uh, we're out here because our friend's land is for sale. Uh, they actually sold the land. So that my science should probably say sold. And um, we're out here to help them move. But they haven't got back to us about when they want to move, so we're out here to investigate. Uh, that we will not be seeing that tower later in the game. Uh, that is not relevant. They're not showing that to us for a reason, I promise you. <sighs> my god, the beavers are out there. They separated us from our vehicle, now they're after us. Run! Oh my god. No, I'm also reason these guys. Um, before I start recording this, I actually ate a uh, small individual pack of Reese's Pieces, and while I was doing it, I was doing a voice like E.T., so I'm not ashamed to admit it. I, I love me some Reese's Pieces. And E.T. was an alright film, I guess. They went and took all the guns out of the film. Oh, Spielberg and Lucas. Is there none of your legacy you won't ruin? Nope. They will not. Okay. This is someone else's vehicle. I'm not quite sure whose. Um, I have an idea, but I think it's wild speculation on my part. And the three gentlemen's name who are on the screen right now. Those are the three guys who wrote Marble Hornets. And also wrote uh, the plot for this game. So, yeah. Uh, such as it is, anyway. <laughs> uh, there's a plot of the game. It's not immediately evident. You have to find a bunch of clues to get it told, it, which is a pretty good uh, idea. Uh, you can learn the story if you want, or if you just want to be scared uh, by a game, then you can be scared by a game. Fair enough. Oh. Please contact mate. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, anyway, the house has been sold, which is good in this market. That's not horrifying at all. And the game's gamma is... I apologize profusely to all of you. Uh, I'm trying to make the gamma be correct, and it's still not that good. But Oh, well, we'll find a flashlight soon, so it's okay. Anyway. We're in the house. Oh, <laughs> looks like somebody gave a kid a stepladder and some crayons. That sounds slightly dangerous. She probably shouldn't have done that. I need to go talk to, to Kate about this. I think that's a girl's name, Kate. Uh, also, this game has a really weird mechanic. About how far you can't look down beyond that point. I'm not sure what the thought process on that was. Uh, maybe they don't want the opportunity f for you to see your feet because they didn't want to, have to draw feet. Perhaps. And if you can't see anything good, I can't either. Oh, yep. Uh, nice, I'm sure a nice lady. She's smiling in the picture. I'm sure she was fine. Um, she died recently. So I'm sure that has nothing to do with uh, what's going on right now. Oh, we don't want to go outside. That way lies madness. What we want is a flashlight. There we go. It has a zoom function. I don't know why. 
What this? Uh, someone robbed the house. Oh god. All right. Time to look for clues. We are, we are action sleuth. We are looking for clues. And playing piano. Every good sleuth has to know how to play the piano. That's uh, that's in the sleuthing handbook. In case you uh, you don't know. Ah, uh, dead phone. I'm not quite sure who still has a phone like that uh, in this day and age, but, uh, you know, whatever. I can't thank you enough. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it because there's no way you can read this. <laughs> I can thank you enough for coming all the way out to help me. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell the old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. Yes, you have an idea. You have no idea how happy I'll be <laughs> Once this is all behind me, love you always, mate. Mate. Okay, that's an odd name. Uh, I would like a spot of tea, but apparently that's not going to happen. Uh, these pictures, I think, are relevant. However, I do not know how. Yeah, there's our friend that we're looking for, right there. And her mom, who just died, which uh, I assume her mom was alone in the house. And that's why the house is now being sold. Alright, see? See, we're doing deductive reasoning. I am I am a, a detective, and you are all my deputy, detective deputies. Um, we're going to figure this out. Okay. Uh, apparently, they didn't want to take any of the books. They have... A, okay, so they didn't take any of the books, so we can assume the robber is illiterate. Uh, yeah. We can assume that. That's my first step. Oh, it's a little bit drafty in here. Uh, not drafty in here. It needs to be more drafty. That's what I meant, yes. There we go. Good. Let the wind in here. Yep. Me and uh, good old mate, or Kate, or whatever her name was, uh, we were best friends uh, for a long time. I used to come over here all the time when her mom wasn't dead and we'd have slumber parties it was amazing I wonder who these guys are I don't know but they like aliens I know that I know that for a fact I found a key so let's go back over here no let's just uh this is how like he went. I'm not sure where it could have gone to. Uh, nope, not to that one. Ah, of course. Hmm. This. Oh, somewhere left the child in here too. I swear, man. You've got to establish rules. And what was that? Stupid game. You ruined. I had a running. I, I had a good running commentary going on here while I was acting like I was in the game and everything. You had to go and ruin it by not letting me look out the window. I had a whole skit and everything planned out. I swear, I was going to do everything. I'm going to do it anyway. But uh, yeah, it's all ruined now. As I said, uh, the tower, the light tower that we saw, uh, will in no way uh, affect the plot later. We will not be going there. Even though this indicates that if you go there, he can't follow you. Don't know why. Uh, we gotta go to the beacon, though. Because there's a nightmare. And that place is safe. Uh, anyway. To the woods. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. To the woods. Best idea we ever had. Also, um, there's a bunch of notes uh, throughout the house. However, I've not found any of them. I'm a bit perturbed by this. <sighs> the screaming, I'm not perturbed by the uh, not finding pieces of paper laying on the ground. That's that's what's really upsetting me. However, I believe in my scrapbook uh, we can find them. Yeah, see Kate. The name's Kate. I thought it was. Anyway, uh, this is a note from CR about... Uh, Someone being really mean to someone, and someone was sneaking out all the time. 
And I uh, used to imagine that they saw something, but now they don't anymore. Uh huh. That has nothing, no relevance at all to the plot. And why is the menu up but I can move? No, this game is not buggy at all. Anyway, here's an email to Kate from CR. Uh, but <laughs> the sender is a little unlisted for some reason. There you go. Yep, everyone's hallucinating stuff, but the doc is have everyone on drugs, so it's okay. Drugs fix everything. No matter what's wrong with you folks, just pop some pills, you'll be okay. Yeah, me and Kate, I told you, I used to come over here all the time. See, the game is corroborating my, my story here. Now, this is important type of work I'm doing here. Uh, I have to investigate investigate the this. This has to be done. There's important evidence on this slide, I know it. Yep. See? Important evidence. I believe I'm one step closer to cracking the case. Anyway. Let's go to those woods that we heard the blood curtain and scream from. Nothing bad could happen there. I also have to thank the game greatly for the timer in the top right. Let me know how long I've been doing this. <laughs> Thank you, game.